So over here, you can see that I have an image and let's say I want to add mask onto this image right here. So in order to work around with mask, first of all, you need to go around into layer and here you can see add mask is an option. Once you click on add mask, you can see that the image disappears. The layer content, however, is not disappeared, uh, but it is just hidden. So on the top, you can see that I can go for AI auto. And this is something that we actually saw in the previous lesson. You can go around onto the tool and the first tool that you have is the shape mask. So if I were to click and drag, you can see that I can actually bring in a mask right here, just like this. I can also go around over here. This is the mode so I can add to mask or I can remove from mask. So if I were to do this, it gets removed. So right now what is happening is that you're just seeing a part of the image which is not deleted. It is just hidden out. So if I were to add to mask, it is added out. If I were to go around over here, it is removed out. And similarly, you can go for magic mask if I were to go around right here and then click on it. So uh, right now, nothing is happening. So let me just bring in a bunch of objects right here. Click on it. So you can see that uh, if I were to click on this, it takes the shape right here and then tries to bring out the shape according to uh, the color right here. If I were to enable the hint, you can see that as I click on it, it can bring in chunks of colors right here instead of particular shapes. So you can, this can be a cool effect as well. Another thing is you can draw a mask, you can bring it in right here or you can remove it out. So when you're working with mask, what is happening is that you're not actually removing the pixels itself, you're just hiding it. You can also work around with lasso right here, just like this to remove or you can add it out right here. And there's gradient mask, which uh, gives you cool effect like this. And there's radial type of a gradient mask that you can work with as well. Uh, remove it out according to what you like it. Remove or add it in right here according to what you like. So you can go around right here, add this in. You can also go around and then work around with these as you can see. Hints, enable or disable. And there's a lot of options right here. Like you can invert and do all of the things right here. You can invert the mask right here. You can extract the mask as layer and so forth and create a copy right here. And then you can also convert mask to selection and everything else. So if I were to go around right here, this is the mask, let's say for example, click and drag it. And there you go. You can convert the mask to selection and then you have the selection as well. So there are a lot of options that you can work with over here and even feathering as well. So let me just go around and then remove out all of the mask right here. Let's remove out everything. Let me just go to this layer, remove out everything. So if I were to go around onto feather and then let's say, for example, if I were to click and drag it, you can see that as I increase the feather, you got more of a softer mask right there. But if I were to decrease it, you got more of a harsh edge, as you can see right there. And that is how you can add mask inside of Pixlr E. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.